What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're out here in South Louisiana looking for a legless lizard. And in this part of the United States, we have the Eastern Glass Lizard. And that's what we're going to be looking for today. Let's go. Often confused for snakes, glass or legless lizards are a lizard species that lack legs entirely. Legless lizards can be found all throughout the world, but here in my home state of Louisiana, the eastern glass lizard is a relatively uncommon species that spends most of their time underground and are found in many different biomes, but I've found them to be most plentiful in longleaf pine forests. I tell you what, anything in this habitat can be particularly hard to find. There's a lot of really special animals here, but they are mostly gonna be underground this time of year. We did just get a little bit of rain, which is kind of what I'm banking on for things to kind of be at the surface. There's so many different species here and they all blend in so well, it's incredible. And glass lizards more than any other species, everything would try to eat a glass lizard. Birds, mammals, other reptiles, everything eats them. Glass lizard, right here. Yes. I got it. Have a look at that lizard. This is an eastern glass lizard. They stiffen up a little bit when you grab them, which I actually really appreciate because if he stays really whippy, it's really, really easy for their tail to break off. Now they're named glass lizard because they are so fragile. In fact, any little tweak, any little grab on his tail, and he will break his tail off. And his tail is this much of his body. So only this part of him is the actual lizard. The rest of that is his tail. And this lizard's never broken his tail off before, which is actually fairly uncommon. Most of the time, you're gonna find a lizard that's already had to drop its tail to escape a predator. Now, eastern glass lizards have a very cool look, kind of a plain tan coloration. They're not oftentimes gonna have those stripes or really distinct patterns that a slender glass lizard would have. They're gonna be more plain and tan. Now, these lizards in this region of the country occupy longleaf pine forests or really any wetland pine areas. There are areas where these guys are super common, but across the board, they're very difficult to find, being as they mostly spend their time underground. This is a species that pretty much everything would eat. Coral snakes, other lizards, birds, virtually anything will get a hold of these guys and eat them. So they have to spend a lot of their time underground. This is a medium sized one. They get much bigger than this. He's probably foot, foot and a half maybe. You'll notice when I first went to pick him up, he started whipping all over the place. So I had to get a hold of the upper part of his body. And half the time when, they, when you do that, look at this. They just stiffen up. That's not him playing dead. If I put him down, he would take off. But when you pick them up, they just kind of sit there half the time, which is good. That's what you want. If they whipping around, oftentimes you just have to leave them be because they will drop their tail. Now, them dropping their tail, it is a natural defense. And anybody who's caught more than one glass lizard before has actually broken their tail off. I've had two drop their tails before. And uh, it's a bummer. That's not something you want to have happen, but it's just what happens. I'm really glad this one hasn't broken its tail off, as you can see. Big, full tail, big, full body. All of this animal's traits, besides not having legs, is that of a lizard. You look at his face, he's got ears, he's got a face like a lizard, they've got eyelids, their tail breaks off. Genuinely, from a biological standpoint, this is a lizard. And a lot of people would kill this animal thinking it is a snake, which is very unfortunate. These guys, all they do is eat bugs and live underground. That's all they do. And they're a very important part of the ecosystems here as pretty much everything eats them and they also eat a lot of different bugs. They're very important for making tunnels in these areas. I would have to guess that these guys would occupy crawfish holes in this kind of habitat, which is very unique. That's not something they'd be doing across the board, but they'll occupy pretty well any tunnel that they can get and even expand upon them. They're very good diggers. At this time of year, they're gonna be mating. So this would probably be a male looking for a female out in the open or looking for a tunnel to a female. And they're typically gonna lay about maybe four to eight eggs. They don't lay too many eggs, once to twice a year. And they're gonna lay those in an underground burrow. They're gonna hatch out and they're about that big when they're born. They're really tiny and everything eats them. So most of this animal's life is gonna be spent underground. Now these species along the coast will actually eat a lot of crustaceans. They'll eat fiddler crabs, they'll eat crawfish, they'll eat little coastal crustaceans, which is really cool. They're often gonna be in more sandy areas. And while this is one of those places that's kind of an exception because this is more of like a piney marsh area, they mostly are gonna be found along the coast. If you see one of these guys, it's most likely gonna be in your flower bed or somewhere along the beach, along the dunes. Those are the areas that most people see them. 
Uh, you're also going to see these guys hit on the road this time of year. They do get hit by a lot of cars. Now, legless lizards are a species you can find across the world. There's the European glass lizard, which is a very famous species, and they get massive. They get like three and a half, four feet long. They're huge, and they're pretty well and good, just like the ones we have here in America. Now, here, I believe we have the Western Slenders, the Eastern Glass, the Eastern Slenders. We also have island glass lizards. There's a lot of different species and subspecies of glass lizards. They all have a very similar build. They've got that lateral line along the side. Most of their body is tail. So really, all that differs is a little bit of their body structure and their coloration. But for the most part, they're all gonna look something like this. Well, this is a really cool animal, but we're gonna go ahead and let him on his way. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we've done with some really weird lizards in the past. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and we will see you guys next time. All right, here you go, bud. Watch out, it's gonna take off. That is awesome.